My name is Heather Wilson. I'm a library assistant and I joined the staff during the pandemic. So I couldn't possibly tell you how long I've been here. I chose a carte de visite of Sojourner Truth from 1863. And first of all, she is wearing a polka dot dress and I just love it. And so it's just very visually arresting. Um, she's gazing directly at the camera as though, you know, she's just looking right at you, which I find very powerful. And um, on her lap, there is a very small photo, a daguerreotype of her grandson, James Caldwell. And um, it was sort of taken recently after I think he um, enlisted in the Massachusetts 54th Regiment to fight in the Civil War. And so I think that for me, I knew a lot of her story, her own personal history, how she self-liberated um, in New York. And then I didn't know a lot of her family history. And I think it's so powerful that someone who, you know, was born in the late 18th century and spent, you know, many years enslaved and then began her free life with, you know, a new name um, to realize that her family history became part of this really national story how um, he fought for the Union Army as well, and that you just see these going through many generations um, of you know, these freedom fighters um, and abolitionists. And I think that was really powerful. And she was using her image. She knew what she was doing. Right? She put it, his, had his picture there and she was selling her these calling cards to supporters to support her speaking tours. Yeah, a lot of historical objects you think are important because they're rare and hers, it's the opposite almost, they're important because they were so common, which is just that she harnessed this new technology in a way that very few other people were doing at that time. Um, and when I was doing some research on the object, I learned that in 1864, so a year after this image, she copyrighted her own image, whereas usually it was the photographer who held the copyright to these. Um, she copyrighted her own image, and so it would be printed on the back of her calling cards at, and below many of them, she would write, um, I sell the shadow to support the substance, substance being her speaking tours. And so we have so many of these because she was raising money and she, you know, she knew how powerful her own image was and that it could support her. So Turner Truth provides so much moral clarity, right? She knew slavery was wrong. She knew all people, all black people, all women should have the right to vote. You know, when you hear as a kid, well, history is really complex or there was a you know, different way of thinking in that time. You say, okay, but Sir Turner Truth knew, like she knew the whole time.